Welcome back to the 36th annual Vancouver Pride Parade on Shaw. Bold! Bold older lesbians and dykes! Bold stands for bolder lesbians and dykes, women who've contributed in so many ways to the LGBTQ community through their activism, hard work, and many of our queer organizations and social events, and through their music writing and other cultural offerings. Bold is a nonprofit society that brings women together at Bold Fest, their annual gathering in Vancouver. Bold is dedicated to the creative, outspoken energy of old and older lesbians and to ongoing fun, challenge, and change. At CTV, they're proud sponsors of the Vancouver Pride Parade this year. The Beat 94.5 is Vancouver's number one music hit station, featuring Johnny Holly and Nier in the morning. CTV News Vancouver brings viewers news from all over the Lower Mainland. Starting in the morning at CTV Live, then at noon, 5, 6, and 11.30 p.m., and with today's soft rock of 103.5 QFM, now featuring Net and Drew in the morning. Let's hear it for QMFM. And their community crew, 103.5. <laughs> Here they come, ladies and gentlemen. Always a popular entry in this parade. Vision Vancouver, Mayor Gregor Robertson and the Vision Vancouver team, proud, they have a proud record of standing with Vancouver's LGBTQ community on City Council. The school board and the park board, Mayor Gregor Robertson, and his team have been working very hard to ensure Vancouver does everything in its power to end homophobia and transphobia in all their forms and to make sure Vancouver doesn't go backwards on the remarkable progress that we've made together. At all levels of Vancouver local government, Vision Vancouver has been steadfast, steadfastly uh, committed to moving Vancouver forward as an inclusive, equal, and even more fabulous city. Toss in a toonie, toss in a toonie into that flag. Toss in your toonies. Next we have the weeds entry. Isn't that an HBO special? <laughs> Sounds like it. Look at that flag. Amazing. That, of course, is uh, provided by the Vision Vancouver team, making its way down one of the prettiest parade routes in Vancouver. What a gorgeous view. Look at that. The flags, the ocean, people. It doesn't get better than this. And probably... Absolutely stunning. I'd say these guys are pro. And, of course, now we bring you Celebrities Nightclub! Celebrities Nightclub has been an icon for Vancouver's LGBT community for over 30 years. This year's theme is Under the Sea. Everything is better down where it's wetter. Don't I know that? Woo! Here for Celebrities. Celebrities is known for bringing you absolutely amazing entertainment from all four corners of the globe. The biggest names and DJs, the best of drag queens, and so much more. Check them out for upcoming events at Celebrities Nightclub. Next we have the Rhinestone Phoenix Charity Foundation. The Rhinestone Phoenix Charity Foundation has operated out of Vancouver's West End for over 34 years. They hold the titles of Mr. and Miss Gay Vancouver, current reigning Miss Gay Vancouver number two, Kyla Forsols, and Miss Gay Vancouver 34, Della Devine. Invite you to the 35th annual Gay Pageant. And here you have the St. Andrews Wesley Church. The St. Andrew Wesley United Church is proud to participate in their seventh Pride Parade. They're a welcoming, inclusive, and progressive congregation located in the heart of downtown, on the corner of Nelson and Burrard. There is something for everyone in this vibrant community of faith, where you don't need to park your opinions at the door. Check out the programs for children, adults, elders of the GLBTTQ community. All are welcome in this place. And of course now, here comes the Royal Canadian Mounted Police! Today's BC Royal Canadian Mounted Police entry is in two parts. 
Firstly, Canada's Mounties wearing the world famous Red Serge auxiliary and civilian members. Community safety officers, other RCMP employees and community volunteers all proudly serving their BC communities. A symbol recognized around the world as Canadian. And secondly, don't they all look so handsome? Very smart. And that must be very hot to wear today, so uh, give them a big round of applause. Absolutely. And of course, the second part is the Combined Forces Special Enforcement Unit of BC participating in their first Vancouver Pride Parade. Make them feel welcome, everybody. They are the anti-gang unit for BC and include individuals from 13 different police agencies. All have volunteered to be here today to help promote community connections and diversity and to celebrate the partnership between the BC RCMP and the LGBTQ community. Next we have BC Corrections and as corrections professionals they provide safe and secure custody of inmates and deliver programs that promote public safety and reduce criminal behavior. BC Corrections is proud to support the gay community as part of its mandate and to contribute to the community at large. BC Corrections is part of the Vancouver Gay Pride Parade for the third time in a row. We hope to be part of this great event for many, many years. Now here we have the Vancouver School Board, VSB. The Vancouver School Board is committed to ensuring all students, staff, and school community members feel safe and engaged, included at all times. The district is proud to support countless LGBTQ programs and initiatives throughout its 110 elementary and secondary schools so that its students from kindergarten to grade 12 and the adult learners understand the importance of diversity and acceptance, both in the classrooms and outside of it. They are proud to be marching in the Pride Parade, and today they want everyone to have as much fun as they are. Happy Pride from the VSB. And of course, a big congratulations to the Vancouver School Board on their recent passing of new trans and gender fluidity pol policies with regards to washrooms and public spaces. Absolutely. Let's hear from the Vancouver School Board. VSB, safe, caring, and inclusive schools. They've done some great work. Look at the size of the crowds here today in Vancouver. Amazing. And so well behaved. And of course, coming up next, we have the Burnaby School District. The Burnaby School District, where all roads are a pathway to success. Our mission is to prepare and support an inclusive, caring community of learners for the challenges of a changing tomorrow. The Burnaby School Board first met in 1906 in a legacy of quality education and lifelong learning that continues today in 41 elementary schools and eight secondary schools. They're very proud of their vibrant schools, diverse programs, and students' achievements. This district continues to promote the ideas of multiculturalism, inclusion, and kindness through its policies and initiatives. And their sexual orientation and gender identity policy was approved in June of 2011, so they've been do working on it for a long, long time. Next up, we have Global BC. Global BC and their parent company, Shaw, are proud to once again be part of the Vancouver Pride Parade. As BC's premier provincial broadcaster and its number one source for news, Global BC and Shaw are proud to support diversity and equality for everyone. Let's hear for Global BC. And there's Skylar shaking it on the float. Hello, what? Skylar. And of course, Fiona Forbes. Hey, Fiona. Hello, Hello Fiona! Fiona. Hello, Global! <laughs> oh, 
Oh, look at this wow. dinosaur. There look at is. this dinosaur. He's out having rest. a good time, too. Wow. Wouldn't want to run into him in the dark. Oh, here come the Rimmers, Simone. The Pacific Rim Curling League is BC's premier league for gay, lesbian, bisexual, and transgender curlers, as well as their straight allies, representing a vibrant and active segment of Vancouver's GLBTQ community, celebrating 31 years with 225 plus members across 48 teams. The Pacific Rim Curling League is BC's largest league and one of the largest DLBT focused curling leagues in Canada. And of course, Denman Place Mall coming up next there, your West End neighborhood mall. And they are definite fans of Pride. They are really grabbing onto things lately. They've been really showing their Pride spirit the last few years. And next up, we have Amnesty International. Amnesty International is and Vancouver's Raging Grannies are here to shout out loud and proud that LGBT rights are human rights. We invite you to join us. End violence based on sexual orientation or gender, gender identity and stop torture. Queer rights equal human rights. Here we have the Rainbow Refugee Society. The Rainbow Refugee Society has been supporting LGBT people fleeing persecution because of their sexual orientation, gender identity, or HIV status since 2000. The people walking today are individuals who have found safety and a home in our city. Right now, there are people around the world afraid for their lives because of who they are. Over 80 countries worldwide have anti-homosexuality legislation, 10 of which include the death penalty. We want all our members to feel welcome in Canada and hope to bring many more people here safely. Visit rainbowrefugee.ca for more information on how you can help. Well, you're going to want to make some noise for these ones. It's the Brazen Hussies as Naughty Cheerleaders! The Brazen Hussies, they are the naughty school years two years ago, schoolgirls rather, two years ago. The Condom Fairies last year, this year they're the Brazen Cheerleaders. Their cheer is love yourself, love others, and love safely. And if you get one of their condoms, even if you don't know, need it, it's going to be a hussy night. Hot and hussy. So they change it up every year for Pride. The first year, of course, the condom berries. Last year, the and now we have the Vancouver Opera Association. No one knows divas like Vancouver Opera. VO brings passion, tragedy, love, and spectacle, and beautiful music, of course, to the Queen Elizabeth Theatre stage and other venues throughout BC. Everyone is welcome. No opera experience is necessary. Check out VancouverOpera.ca. VO is thrilled to bring the irresistible passion of opera to pride and encourages you to be your own diva. Take the bull by the horns and support opera. You will that love it. Is quite the, that is quite the uh, float. We have two tickets to Carmen Vio. Here we have the NPA Vancouver. The NPA celebrates and supports the diversity of all people in Vancouver and fully supports efforts to assist LGBTQ plus persons in our community, fostering inclusion and understanding its central among the NPA guiding principles. At 76 years of age, the NPA is Vancouver's oldest political party. They've nominated as one, as can one of Canada's first openly gay politicians in 1986, and we recognize, showcase, and celebrate the LGBTQ community in a fun-loving and embracing way. We want to celebrate this diversity throughout our parade entry, which is themed Celebration 2000. 14. And it's Sin City Fetish Night. Of course, Sin City Fetish Night is Vancouver's premier kinky club night and second longest running night in the city. Samantha Mac. That's what we call a Samantha they've, Mac attack. Yes, they've had their over the top naughty get together every month. 
since May 2001 and attract a huge cross mix of sex positive, fun loving, pansexual partiers of all types. Gay, straight, and everything in between, hosted by DJ Pandemonium. And Evelyn 13, Sin just recently moved back to its original home venue at Club 23 West in Gastown. Where the party can be found every second Saturday of the month. If you want to know all their dirty details, head to Sin City Fetish Night.com, the Sin City Fetish Night float. Next, we have our friends from Victoria, Paparazzi Nightclub. Paparazzi Nightclub joins us again for Vancouver Pride. Located in Victoria at 642 Johnson Street, Paparazzi is a popular hotspot for both young and the young at heart. Paparazzi is one of Victoria's top venues, showcasing a variety of acts, theme nights, and its own dance troupe. Since 2007, they've donated $38,500 to Victoria Pride Society. They also hold fundraisers in the South Island Youth Group and other organizations. Paparazzi is now open for extended hours. They're open 365 days a year from 3 p.m. to 2 a.m. And now here we have the Vancouver Front Runners. With approximately 150 members, Vancouver's Front Runners is one of the largest running and walking clubs in BC. Founded in 1983, they are also one of the oldest LGBT sporting clubs in Vancouver. Last Saturday, the Vancouver Front Runners kicked off Pride Week with their 10th annual Pride Run and Walk in Stanley Park. This fun and colorful event raised thousands of dollars for out in schools and community. Last year, they raised 12,000 this year, they beat that, and the front runners also have great legs, as you can all see. And of course, what would be great legs without great balls? It's the tennis guys up here. <laughs> <laughs> you nailed it, Barb. <laughs> yes, the Vancouver Tennis Association, a nonprofit tennis organization fostering and promoting goodwill, fellowship, and healthy competition among tennis players in the gay and lesbian community. They've got about 200 active members. The VDA is one of the most popular gay and lesbian sporting organizations in Vancouver. The VTA is a member of the Gay and Lesbian Tennis Alliance and they are run by volunteers. They have plenty of programs, including weekly doubles, fun social events. And now we have Encore Pacific, Return It. Here comes the royal couple, Return It King and Queen, with their Encore Pacific Royal Court, majestically flying their colors. Almost 1 billion used beverage containers were returned for deposit and process into new products. That's almost 100,000 metric tons of material banquets from BC landfills. And now we have Chorus Radio, The Fox, CKNW News, Talk, Classic Rock 101, and AM 730 Traffic. The Chorus Radio Vancouver Station's Rock 101, playing all the greatest hits from the 70s, 80s, and 90s. And the world famous Sea Fox, both flying their rainbow colors proudly today in support of Pride. CKNW News, Talk AM 980, Canada's first home for the TED Radio Hour, weekends at 11 a.m., based around the famous TED Talks, discussing topics of diversity, equality, and life lessons. CKNW Orphans Fund Charity is also a great supporter of the Out in Schools program. And of course, we have BCIT up next, the BC Institute of Technology. It's happy to be here and celebrate Pride with all of you. BCIT celebrates Pride, celebrates diversity, celebrates equality, celebrates success, and most importantly, celebrates you. Next, we have the BC Humanist Association. The BC Humanist Association is a charity dedicated to providing community and activist organizing in the many non-religious and not very religious residents of BC. Here we have Red Truck Beer and Company. This next beauty is the Red Truck Beer Company's 1946 Dodge Power Wagon, fully restored and powered up to help deliver the freshest beer in town. For the past seven years, Red Truck Beer has been working its way into your favorite neighborhood hangouts. And with the finishing touches being put on the new state-of-the-art craft brewery, which will be complete in November. And of course, it's Vancouver Dodgeball League. The Vancouver Dodgeball League is Vancouver's first largest and only non-profit dodgeball organization. They're run by a 50-plus group of committed and hardworking volunteers. They foster teams building new friendships, wreck. Hope you can keep up, boys. 
It's starting to get pretty, pretty crazy down here in Parade Center. It certainly is. And now we have the McLaren Housing Society, the Royal House McLaren, commonly known as the McLaren Housing Society of BC, traces its lineage back to 1987 as the first HIV/AIDS organization, housing organization in Canada, providing housing and support and service to kings, queens, princes, and princesses across Vancouver and the Lower Mainland of BC. And now we have the Trans Alliance Society. This year, the Trans Alliance of BC is celebrating new rules that make it easier for transgender persons to update their documents. They also applaud Vancouver's new transgender gender variant guidelines. They especially, especially applaud Vancouver's school board and its new sexual orientation and gender identity policies, which make Vancouver a global leader in transgender rights for youth. You're watching the 36th annual Vancouver Pride Parade on Shaw. We'll be right back. Welcome to the 36th annual Vancouver Pride Parade on Shaw. Okay, now we have the Affinity Auto Group. Go they get them, Simone. They are, of course, Vancouver's leading luxury and performance vehicle dealership with a proud and long-standing commitment to supporting Vancouver's LGBTQ community. They founded Friends and Company, Vancouver's newest LGBT networking organization. They've been raising money for out in schools for each of its first two years, and of course, they're proud to have legendary Las Vegas female impersonator Larry Edwards representing them for Pride 2014. Thank you, Larry. Happy Pride. Now we have the MPA Society. The MPA Society was formed in 1971 to provide support and services to individuals living with mental illness. We believe every person has the right to be treated with dignity and respect and value uniqueness in every individual. Here we have the BC Liberal Party under the leadership of Premier Christy Clark. We are very proud to be supporting the values of inclusiveness, diversity, and equality of all people. They are proud to call Vancouver a global leader for LGBTQ rights, our home. Congratulations to the Vancouver Pride Society and their devoted volunteers for hosting the 36th annual Pride Parade. You know, one of the wonderful things about Vancouver is their incredibly rich and diverse selection of uh, LGBTQ sporting groups. There are many, many of them around, and of course, this is one of our uh, longest running. And it, of course, is the West End Slow Pitch Association, known as WESA. And WESA will, of course, be at the World Softball Tournament in Dallas in September. Yeah, Show some slow pitch love to WESA, everybody. Yes, we heard there's three or four groups from Vancouver going to be in Dallas, so uh, stop by and see us at the Vancouver booth. Gorgeous Miss Wessa. We got the BC Nurses Union. The BC Nurses Union are marching today with pride. As diverse as the communities they serve, BC nurses protect and advocate for health and well being of nurses and the people of British Columbia. Our nurses matter. Great costumes. And they got quite a big vehicle as well. Give it up for the BC nurses. Keeping the promise, quality health care through safe staffing. Doing great group, groups, or excuse me, doing great work. Now we have the Children's Wish Foundation of Canada. The Children's Wish Foundation is a uniquely Canadian charity that grants heartfelt wishes to seriously ill children. Each wish is carefully created to make to meet the needs of sick children and their family. The Terminal City Roller Girls, Vancouver's Terminal City Roller Girls are hard-heading, fast-skating women. The sports area arena historically has been a pretty tough place for LGBTQ athletes, and the Women's Roller Derby Revival has battled to do away with old attitudes in sports, and has made the roller derby world a place of inclusion and acceptance. In fact, a disproportionate number of TCRG athletes identify as gay, bisexual, queer, or transgender. And they like it that way. As long as you can skate, we want you. Check out TerminalCityRollerGirls.com for more on how to get involved. And next we have up Concrete Vertigo Productions. Here come the Vixens of Wonderland cast. This sexy, hilarious, and contemporary show is just dying for you to come. Down the rabbit hole and experience Wonderland as never before. Watch Alice encounter all the Wonderland characters you thought you knew. Only this time they're singing, dancing, and taking their clothes off. It's a classic story turned on its side and spanked by Concrete Vertigo Productions. Vixens of Wonderland is playing August 15th to 29th. 
at Performance Works on Granville Island. I saw that show just the other night. It was incredible. Get down to Granville Island and check it out. All right, here comes the Safeway Toonie Brigade number one. Take out your toonies and loonies for the Toonie Brigade. The parade takes tens of thousands of dollars to put on, and every dollar donated to Vancouver Pride goes to putting on future Pride parades. If you've got a toonie or a loonie, take it out and let's give it away. Please do you generous, everybody. Be generous. It's your toonies that help put this on every year. And of course, here comes something that is an annual event here at the parade. They have the giant flag, and they ask you, of course, to throw your change into the flags. Still lots of room in there. Throw in your change, everybody. Help make every year's Pride Parade as big and beautiful as we can. Women Against Violence Against Women. WABA, the Rape Crisis Center. Uh, works to end all forms of violence against women. They provide all self-identified women who experience any form of sexualized violence with support and healing. And next we have the Canadian Bar Association of BC Sexual Orientation and Gender Identity Conference. A legally proud float celebrates pride diversity and the legal profession. They first marched in the parade in 2012 and have no objections to dancing, strutting and glittering their way through Vancouver Street with pride ever since. Right here we have Ace Vancouver. Since 1983, Ace Vancouver has been providing programs and services through education, support, and community-based research on HIV and AIDS. They have streamlined their community's case management program and started up a new health promotion program with the community partners SOS, DAMS, Youth Co, CCC, no, ABC, and Work. Join them today as they celebrate 22 years Mae McQueen has been volunteering for that long. She's surrounded by many volunteers and the board members and staff of AIDS Vancouver. Next we have a big sponsor Pride this year. Let's hear for Stoli. Stoli is a proud to be the official vodka of Vancouver Pride, a longtime supporter of LGBTQ groups and Pride festivals across the world. Stoli stands for proud alongside the LGBTQ community in the fight for equality. For more information on Stoli's long-standing commitment to the LGBT community, Billy Stoli, visit StoliForEquality.com. Happy Pride, Vancouver, from Stoli. And their underwear. Yes. Well, well they're not serving. They're not serving any drinks. They're serving it up, though. Serving something. <laughs> serving it up, indeed. <laughs> right, you are, Angus. <laughs> I didn't realize that that was a food float. Now we have Paws for Hope Animal Foundation. Paws for Hope Animal Foundation is a Vancouver's based animal welfare and charity committed to sustaining animal welfare in BC. Their vision is, well, a society that provides the utmost care for companion animals. We love you, Paws for Hope Animal Foundation. And Indeed. now of course we have COPE, which is the Coalition of Progressive Electors. COPE is a civic reform organization which unites individuals and groups seeking a progressive orientation in Vancouver's civic life. By means of continuous organizing and campaigning around issues affecting the people of Vancouver and by nominating and electing candidates to civic office. As part of its new diversity mandate, COPE has recently established gay, lesbian, bisexual, two-spirited and transgendered caucuses. If you want the city in Vancouver to be more affordable and inclusive, you can enjoy, join COPE and be part of the change. Now here we have PLEA, a Community Services of BC. PLEA is an accredited non-for-profit community service agency that has operated throughout BC for 30 years. They deliver services to children, youth, adults and families who face significant challenges and adapt their programs to suit each individual's strengths and needs and help people leading fulfilling lives within their communities. Well, here's a big, bright, beautiful float. 
Last Door Recovery Center. Pride is hugely important for the GLBTQ recovery community. The prominent club and bar culture within the community during Pride means a clean, sober, and fun place is needed for people in recovery. Last Door Recovery Society is pleased to host the fifth edition of Clean, Sober, and Proud. Give it up for Clean, Sober, and Proud, Vancouver. Give it up. This is an amazing club. Lots of energy. Showing you just how much fun you can have without mind-altering anything. Now we have Pinoy Pride Vancouver. They're marching today to promote acceptance, equality, and respect for the LGBTQ community in the Philippines, which continues to struggle with the challenges of equal acceptance. PPV strongly provides and believes in uh, coexistence among the populace. The marchers are wearing purple tees, the color associated with royalty. The words and phrases printed on the tees are swark speak for gay speak commonly used in the Filipino LGBTQ community. Boy, I'm still not over the clean and sober proud. That was pride. a great float. Amazing float. All right, now, uh, of course, every year, our, our member of parliament for Vancouver Center, we have Justin Trudeau. Justin Trudeau, the head, of course, of the Canadian Federal Liberal Party, along with Dr. Hedy Fry. The Liberal Party of Canada. Hey guys. Hi. Nice to see you. All right, hold on. We're going to try. No, 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 it's called Camagot. Oh, oh. There we go. There we go. Thank you. Happy Pride. Happy Pride. Justin Trudeau. Of course, carrying on what his father did before him. Selfie hog. <laughs> Dr. Hetty Fry! She is proud and honored to represent Vancouver Center as our member of Parliament. Look at her Trini Pride happening here. That's my girl. A fierce advocate for GLBT rights since first being elected 21 years ago. She is the current health critic for the Liberal Party of Canada. Dr. Fry has participated in 22 Pride parades. She is, of course, joined today by Justin Trudeau, leader of the Federal Liberal Party of Canada, as they march for equality. It is with pride that the Federal Liberal Party celebrates the progress the queer community has made in gaining equality and acceptance since the first Vancouver Pride Parade 36 years ago. And, of course, Doug Miller, as always. Mercy for Mercy Animals. Mercy Animals Canada. And next up we have our City of Colors. Our City of Colors is a nonprofit seeking to increase the visibility and issues facing LGBTQ people in various linguistic and cultural communities. They believe that many communities are underserved when it comes to LGBT resources. Next we have the Moto Car Co-op. Uh, the Moto Car Co-op started in the West End 17 years ago with two cars and 16 members. Moto now has thousands of members sharing hundreds of cars, trucks, vans, electrics, and conveniently located in Metro Vancouver. Book Moto by the hour or the day. Now we have the Peak 102.7, Vancouver's new rock station. Listen to discover your favorite artist and become a Peak VIP for exclusive concert and contest information. Visit thepeak.fm to listen live and then find the latest information on community events, concerts, and new artists. The Adoptive Families Association of British Columbia. They are, of course, a nonprofit organization promoting adoption and supported adoptive families for over 35 years. 
AFABC's province-wide services ensure that adoptive families are educated and supported before, during, and long after their children come home. We know that gay parents make great parents and are proud to celebrate our shared values of love, courage, commitment, diversity, resilience, and inclusion with our friends in the LGBTQ community. And next up, we have the Vancouver Rowing Club celebrating its 125th anniversary. The Vancouver Rowing Club is Vancouver's oldest uh, athletic club in the city. Situated on the waters of Coal Harbor, BRC is nestled in beautiful Stanley Park. The founding sport of the club, rowing, continues its tradition of athletic excellence. BRC celebrates an impressive international re record, having placed athletes on Canada's Olympic team, Pan American and Commonwealth Games teams. Some great floats this year. Fantastic. Yeah. All Everyone's right. really, really thought it out. Here we have the Parent Support Services of so Society of BC. Parent Support Services of Society of BC has chosen to mark their 40th anniversary with a strengthened community for supporting the LGBTQ families and their rights. And then, of course, we have the Cactus Club Cafe at English Bay, which is pretty much where we're located. Cactus Club is excited to celebrate its fourth year as Vancouver's Pride Parade participants, honoring the royalty recognized in those of the LGBTQ. Cactus English Bay voyages to the Glenway Seas in the Queen of the Bay, encouraging you to let your pride set sail. Throw out your best salute and appreciation of all the organizers of this year's parade. All right, here we have Outen Sports. Outen Sports Society was incorporated in 2011 to provide a safe and legal vehicle for recreational organizers to operate in a community level sports league. All leagues that operate under the Outen Sports provide more opportunities for queer sports in Vancouver by working with community leaders to facilitate the development of new sports leagues. And this is the Conservative Party, Vancouver Centre Conservative Association. The Conservative Party of Canada forms Her Majesty's Government and the Vancouver Centre Conservatives are proud to show their support for the lesbian, gay, bisexual and transgender community. The Conservative Party. are heating up. We're just about two-thirds of the way through the parade. And next we have CIBC. It's Canada's leading fi financial institution that provides full suite of financial services and products. Over 10 years ago, CIBC was the first Canadian bank to establish a professional network for their LGBT employees. In the 1990s, CIBC became the first Canadian bank to offer same-sex benefits to their employees before it was legislated to requirement to do so. CIBC actively participates in LGBT organizations as the founding member of Pride at Work Canada. You're watching the 36th Annual Vancouver Pride Parade on Shaw. We'll be right back. Welcome to the 36th Annual Vancouver Pride Parade on Shaw. CJSF Radio 90.1 FM. They're Simon Fraser University's campus radio station, and they are proud to be marching once again with friends in the Vancouver Pride Parade. Of course, the BC Civil Liberties Association. From fighting for the right of Vancouver's own Little Sisters bookstore, to import LGBTQ plus materials, to intervening before the Supreme Court of Canada in support of equal marriage, the BC Civil, Civil Liberties Association has been advocating for gay rights and equality in the courts and in the streets for more than 40 years. Liberty, don't leave homos without it. Go to www.bccbcla.org. Next up, we have the BC Super Friends. BC Super Friends are queer, geeky, and proud of it. 
They host inclusive events for queer geeks and work with straight allies on ways to make the geek community safer spaces. You can join to watch the Super Friends at cosplay events, sing-alongs, gaming meetups, and more. Geeks of all kinds are welcome, no matter what your gender, sexual orientation, or fandom. Find them online through Facebook or www.bcsuperfriends.com. Give it up for the Super Geeks, everybody! Yay! There's some pretty impressive costume going on here. Well cosplayed. And they're doing us in this heat of a 30 degree heat today. Give it up a big hand for the people in all these costumes. Oh, Think celebrating 30 36 years of pride here in Vancouver. Yes, 36 years, amazing. Justin Saint coming up. That well, now that's this is what you have a makeup artist doing. A makeup artist with far too much time. Wow. Justin, you look flawless, my dear. Is this still part of the BC Super Group? Super Friends, looking good. And say more diversity in gaming. More diversity in gaming. Here we have WestJet. WestJet is, a, is proud to be Canada's most preferred airline, powered by an award-winning culture of care and recognized as one of the country's top employers. WestJet offers scheduled service to more than 85 destinations in North America, Central America, the Caribbean, and Europe. WestJet is thrilled to support parades across the country, celebrating all the amazing communities that they fly into. Of course, look out for the dancing pink umbrellas. It's loud business, everybody. Got Josh Reimer up on the truck. Blair Smith up in front, one of the organizers. Loud Business is an association of gay-owned and gay-friendly businesses in BC. This is their third year in the parade. Loud Business supports their own charity, the Loud Foundation, and awards annual scholarships to students in our community. You can find out more about what they do at loudbusiness.com. I know I'm uh, very proud to take part uh, with them every year and helping to choose scholarships for gay youth. Okay. And this is, of course, Port Metro Vancouver. Port Metro Vancouver is Canada's largest port, a proud diverse workplace, and a leader in environmental stewardship. Approximately $184 billion in goods is traded annually with more than 160 trading economies. Now we have the UBC Faculty of Medicine. The University of British Columbia's Faculty of Medicine continues to support LGBTQ staff and students as they march for their fifth year in a row in the Vancouver Gay Pride Parade. Moreover, the school's curriculum has evolved over the years to include topics specific to LGBTQ health issues. Followed by WorkSafe BC, here comes WorkSafe BC, British Columbia's champion in the workplace safety. Accompanied by the host of staff ambassadors and their two safety mascots, WorkSafe Sam and Bobby Cat. Lots of color for the parade. It's great. Some of the things that we've seen really, really, uh, people, a lot of people showing Work their safe stuff. BC. There's my date for tonight. Well, if you hear a voice like that, everybody, you know it's going to be a radio station. Yeah. It's, of course, Sonic Nation Radio, home of the Kid Carson Show. And they are bubble blowers. Thank you. We got 
out of a bit of a break for Oh, everybody. Kid Carson is having a great time on that float. Absolutely. Kid, I hope you have some I hope you have some sunscreen on that poor bald head. You're watching the 36th annual Vancouver Pride Parade. 